Good. Now that we know how strong the gobblers are, I have a plan. Please deliver this letter to Mindy Pixie Crown for me. Your hard work will pay off, I promise. Headmaster Ambrose hands you an official looking document. Mindy Pixie Crown reads the official looking document. I think this plan will work. This plan calls for challenging the Gobbler King's two closest advisors, Baron Greebly and Baron Rotunda. Dueling isn't my strength, so you're the only one who can do this, young wizard. They're each hiding out in towers, one at each end of the street. Defeat them and see what the Gobbler King has to say then. Not yet. You look like you'd make a good stew. Get over here. Take away my treat? I can't allow that. To battle!
Tell the Gobbler King about your battles with Barons Greebly and Rotunda. What? You defeated them? I find that hard to believe. I'll have to send someone to find out if what you say is true or not. Just as the Gobbler King is getting ready to call, a messenger breaks into the room. Sir, the two Barons have been defeated by a student wizard. What shall we do? Oh dear. What you said is true. Then that means no Gobbleton, a uh, wizard city, is yours. Spare me and my people, wizard. We mean you no harm. I ask that we are allowed to stay here. Our old home was filled with witches, and we are too scared to go back. I promise we will not eat so much. You have my word. You have brought peace with the Gobblers. You've done a great job. Be sure to tell Headmaster Ambrose what the Gobbler King said. Now I can get back to my project. My plan worked. Oh, that's excellent news. 
You tell Headmaster Ambrose what the Gobbler King said about their home world. My, my. I certainly don't want to force them to go back to a world where they aren't welcome. Very well. We will let them stay on Colossus Boulevard. It appears we have new neighbors.